back to another episode of Me, Myself, and Math. It's nice to see you again. Uh, we haven't made one of these math videos in quite some time, but hopefully this math video will help you uh, review and practice your multiplication and division facts. Now, what you're going to need are some popsicle sticks. I would recommend the really wide popsicle sticks if you can't find those at a local craft store, you can use one of these skinnier popsicle sticks. What I did for this video, I just drew two popsicle sticks on the board, just so you get an idea of, of what I'm talking about. Now, on your popsicle stick, on the very end of each one, you're going to just draw a line up and down like this. And you're going to pick a number. So for this example, I'm going to use the number seven. I'm going to put seven just right here on either end of the popsicle sticks. Now, one of the popsicle sticks will be used for multiplication facts and the other one will be used for division facts. I do recommend using a marker when you write your answers on the popsicle sticks. So like, for example, seven times one is seven. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 3 is 21. If I keep writing out my multiplication facts, I'm going to notice that these numbers will get really squished together. So I do recommend using a marker. And here's a hint. If you're a visual learner, use a different color marker to separate your answers. By using a marker, it's easier to see as opposed to a pencil or a pen. Now, I do not recommend using a marker this big. Uh, that might not be the best of ideas. <laughs> it's upside down. But I think you get the idea. Now, uh, I just have to find the box that this goes in. So uh, that'll be in uh, next episode. Where does this purple marker go? Anyways. Back to what we were doing. Now, I've got this first popsicle stick with my multiplication facts. I'm just going to write it out eight. You can write all of your uh, multiplication facts as far as you want on that popsicle stick, but obviously I've run out of room. Now, when you flip the popsicle stick over, this is where you can write your division facts. And if you notice, my multiplication facts and my division facts are just the opposite of one another. Now, I did write this on a little itty bitty popsicle stick, and I'll show you that in just a second, just so you get an idea of what I was, whoops, I, I messed that up. So let's uh, make sure we write the correct numbers here. Now, like I said, when you're doing this at home, maybe use a different marker so you can separate your answers so it's easier to see if you are a visual person. Now, I did do this on a little popsicle stick, and it's going to be really hard to see, but I'm going to try to get up as close to, to the camera as possible. So maybe you can see it, maybe you can't, but if my teacher asked me, and on one side I've got multiplication, and on the back side I've got division. Now, if my uh, teacher had asked me about uh, multiplication fact for seven, maybe she was asking me seven times four, I could run my finger up and down the popsicle stick to find where the answer is. Now, I know this is really hard to see on this itty bitty popsicle stick, so let's just pretend that we're, this is my popsicle stick. So if the teacher said seven times four, I could slide my fingers to where that answer is. Maybe she said seven times two. Maybe they said seven times six. Maybe I was working on division facts and I had to do the same thing. So maybe I got a worksheet from my teacher and it was all about division and 
I saw all of these sevens, and I'm not really good at sevens, so I pulled out my popsicle stick, and I saw 28 divided by 7, or I saw 49 divided by 7, or if I saw 14 divided by 7. So this is a, a really easy way to practice your multiplication and division facts. And like I said, just go to your local supermarket or even a craft store to get popsicle sticks. The wider, the better, but if you can only find these skinny ones, that works too. So hopefully this helps you if you're struggling with multiplication or division facts. And once again, be safe, be careful, and I'll see you next time.